Adventure in Nevada means long drives, dirt roads, harsh environments, and all the gear necessary for both fun and survival. My name is Max Hammer, and I'm a professional skier based in Reno, Nevada. Today, we're test driving an electric car, putting it through the adventure test. We're gonna find out if it can handle an array of road conditions while fitting all our gear. We'll also explore charging and maintenance. So come on, let's find out what the electric vehicle is all about. First up, we're gonna pick up our buddy Joel, throw his skis in the car, see if we make it up the mountain pass. And if we do, we're going skiing. Morning. Hey. Okay, one question that comes up, affordability. For this test, we scored an older model Tesla, but there are models coming out for everyone from almost all major car manufacturers. Right now, you can find an electric vehicle for around 30 grand. You wanna drive it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Here's your key. Foot on the brake, and then you just, you put the key like right there. Boom, it's on. Wow. Push this all the way down, you drive. That's all you have to do? That's it. That's the most impressive thing, I think, is just how quiet and smooth it is. I don't know how we're gonna give this car back. We all think we're truck guys and Subaru people, but like, what's the difference? All that matters is it gets you where you wanna go. All the activities we do, all the trailheads we go to, you need like a reliable car. Do you think the electric vehicle is reliable enough? Yeah, I was thinking about that because it's like, man, you're gonna get so far out there on a normal adventure dirt road, snow, all that stuff. And we did push it a little bit yesterday on some dirt roads. Honestly, it did way better than I thought. I will say, growing up with the sedan, one, line choice is paramount, two, know your clearance, and three, if you felt the torque on that bad boy, dude, I don't know if we're gonna get stuck. I think we can power through it. I feel like I have my truck just so I can, I have so many t you know, toys to go play in the mountains. How are we gonna fit everything in there? There's SUVs coming out, there's trucks coming out, but even the sedan, I was plenty surprised. I mean, with a little bit of Tetris, you, you could fit a whole road trip in there. We got tools, cords, ropes, climbing gear, ski gear, camp gear. What if we want to go on a road trip on the weekend, go biking? You're like, how are you going to be able to charge up? How are you going to be able to you know, find the gas stations. The chargers are everywhere. I kid you not, like, we could look at the map and it's like, bing, 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 bing. Plus no one's using them. You literally roll up, charge, and go. Right. That could be us. All right, first timers here at the charge. We're at a supercharger. All right, here we go, charging. Open the charge port, it's like Star Trek. <laughs> Where do you think the charge port is? <laughs> Let's go find out. Here we go. Uh... Engage. For 146 miles, a charge, we only gotta wait 20 minutes. 20 minutes. What can we do in 20 minutes? Read a book. Plan an adventure. Enjoy a snack. What about like the maintenance on them though? Everything you fix on a regular car is because of the combustion engine and the electric car doesn't have any of that stuff. So it's like tires, brake pads. Right. Make sure the batteries work. Right. Windshield wiper fluid. That's like, the only fluid. could you handle it? You know, at first I thought this test was going to be about getting to the trailhead. Like, will it be the same as with my truck? You know, to have an exciting time in the mountains. But what I realized is with the electric car, the buzz is there as soon as you hop in the driver's seat. Sum it all up, we got the adventure we wanted. You know what? It was awesome. Finding the car, starting the car, charging the car, up and down mountains. But you know what? It ticked all the boxes and it was a lot of fun. Electric vehicles are the future. The wave is coming. I'm gonna get on early and ride it.